Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I shall be wearing this hat every single raid until Christmas. But today we have a really interesting one. The first build, you probably saw this coming. It's going to be Terrapagos, or Terrapagos, however you say it. Now, this Pokemon has three farms, three different abilities, and a really interesting Terra type. Try and go through it as much as I can so you understand. So this farm right here will be its original form. It has the Terra type Stella, no matter which farm you're in. And what that does is, so it treats it, you have to do three attacks and then terrestrialize. But instead of terrestrializing, you'll go into a stellar form because you will already be terrestrialized. Let me just show you the actual ability. So the ability is Terra Shift of the normal form. When you enter the battle, it absorbs the energy around itself and transformed into its Terra form. You will instantly go into your second form as soon as the raid starts. In the ability of the Terra Farm, if you're at full health, and any move that hits you will be not very effective. So that's amazing. Now, as you can see right there, the actual special attack and all the other stats, they aren't too high. And that's because in its normal form, the total stats are 450. When you go into your Terra Farm, it goes to 600. When you transform into your Stellar Farm, it will go to 700. And you'll have 160 HP. 110 defense and special defense and 130 special attack so that's pretty cool and there are only three pokemon i believe that you can use in raids right now that are higher than this in terms of total stats now the stellar type when we transform into our stellar type every single type on the game will be a stab for us but we will always be a normal type pokemon i found it a bit confusing when first looking at it but i think i understand it fully now so we'll just get into the build so i've gone with the shell bell to restore health throughout that raid you can get this from the Lavincia Deli Bro Shop. EVs have gone into Special Attack and HP. The Modest Nature, Max IVs and everything except Attack. When you catch your Terrapagos, it should come with 5 Max IVs. I got lucky, I didn't have Attack, I had all the others. So the ability that that will always be the same. Moveset, I've gone with Stored Power, Ice Beam, Aura Sphere and Calm Mind. Calm Mind is going to be your best setup move, increases your special attack and special defense. Aura Sphere is a fighting type move, so that's super effective against 5 different types. Ice Beam is also super effective against quite a lot of types. And then Stored Power, just because it goes well with Calm Mind. Now, if you want to use the actual proper move, where is it? Terra Star Storm. It's a very strong move, and you can replace any of these moves with it, really. But I thought I'd go with all the super effective ones, which are these three right here, because they're super effective against things. Now that that's over with, um, I'm going to get straight into a raid. Hopefully you understood that. can be a little bit confusing. You'll understand more once we get in the raid. It's going to be a six-star ground type Duraludon. Let's just begin. Let's see how it goes. So Terra Shift activates. As you can see, we've gone into a different form. And now we are technically terrestrialized. Now I'm just going to start using Calm Mind to increase our special attack and special defense. So pretty much nearly all our stats have gone up as well. So that's nice. So as you can see, Terra Shell distorts the type matchups. When they use Dragon Pulse, it'll be not very effective. It's only doing 24 damage. Use Calm Mind again to go on plus two special attack and special defense. And then when he uses Dragon Pulse a second time, it will just be normal. We use Calm Mind a third time, so we're on plus three. As you can see, we're very bulky. Three attacks and we barely took any damage. So now we're going to start to use Ice Beam. It's doing a decent chunk of damage there. That will go up even more once we can actually uh, Stellestalize. I don't know how we're going to say that. As you can see, we're doing a decent amount of damage. That will go up even more when we go into our Stellar Farm. We're going to call it Stellarestalize. Every time you go back up to full health in this farm, you'll get an attack that's not very effective hit against you. So that's amazing. Another attack that's not very effective. Now we're going to use our third Ice Beam and we can go into our Stellar Farm after this. I couldn't even imagine if this Pokemon had like Nasty Plot or um, what you call it, Acid Spray. That would be incredible. So we're going to still arrest the lies for now. Still getting used to that one. Now, uh, as you can see, we've gone into a special farm right there. I'll keep the animation on screen so you can see it. The turtle is on top, the baby one. And then we've got the uh, the actual Terra Farm turtle under it. And we've got every single type circling us. And that means that uh, we'll get... Terra Farm Stab, and it'll do more damage. And as you can see, our HP is now 524. Our stats have gone up even more. And the amount of damage we're taking now is just, like, next to nothing. So it might not be the fastest Pokemon to raid with in the world, but it's a very, very strong Pokemon for raids. Light Screen did go up, which is a pain. That's an interesting one. So Duraludon will use Light Screen and Reflect both in the same turn when it gets to a certain amount of health. 
How much damage are we doing now? But it's still doing a decent ish amount of damage. There's another ice beam. One more should break the shield. I'm looking forward to fighting all these new types of raids that we're going to get. I used stored power by accident, but we still broke the shield. And I'm pretty sure we haven't lost more than 50 of our health all raid. It's been crazy. This should be the last shot that should do it. There we go. I love the animation of the actual uh, like moves you're using when you're in this farm as well. We had a third of the time remaining. Very easy there. And I can see this Pokemon being able to take out a lot of Pokemon because it's actually only got one weakness as well, which is fighting. Can't wait to use this Pokemon in some more raids. Hopefully you've got a little bit of a better understanding of how to use this Pokemon after this. Let me know if you're going to go any other like movesets and stuff. I'd love to know all the movesets you guys come up with. Smash the like button if you have found this video helpful. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.